Some people don't like to drink wine for religious, medical reasons, or they are in recovery. You know, it's none of our business. If someone, um, if you are at an event, a dinner with, with people from work or whatever, uh, away on a conference, and the wine has already been poured, if you can handle it, it isn't for a religious reason, and so depending on the religion, they can see it and just leave it and ignore it, and that's fine. Others like, oh no, I can't even have it near my plate, whatever. Um, or you're in recovery and that's just not good for you, you can ask them to remove it. Next time the server comes, um, just say, oh, would you please take this away? That's fine. If you can leave it there, it's better, less questions, because there will inevitably be one person go, oh, what, don't you like wine or don't, you know, whatever, try and get in your business. There we go back to the personal question, whether you want to divulge it or not, just go, oh, medical reasons I can't, or religious reasons I can't. Some people are comfortable, or I'm in recovery. If you want to, because there's some people I know in recovery who have no problem talking about it, um, but then you know expect the questions and oh really or you know I have a brother and whatever. Um, but um, <laughs> most of us do, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but um, so if you don't want any more, say you can drink wine and you've had enough, or you don't want the glass full or, or anything, you don't have to turn your glass upside down. One, you might chip the rim of the glass anyway, and it just calls more attention to you. That's all it does. So just hovering your hand, say here's the glass. I don't even have to touch the rim. Just you know, look at the server, whoever's pouring, and just say, oh no, thank you. Just your hand, or if you don't want to, just. No, like this if you're in conversation, and that's all you need to do. Mm -hmm.